I'll show you how to use the QR code tool in Affinity Photo. First, to switch to the tool, I'll want to long click on the Shape Tools flyout here. Then I can hover over the QR code tool and release the mouse button to select it. I can then drag out the QR code at any initial size I want. Once I've released the mouse button, I can then look up here on the context toolbar for the data settings, as well as the ability to change the fill color of the QR code. I'll change the color to black. Then I can click on the data input field here to bring up a dialog. This lets me change the data type. It defaults to URL so that users can scan the code and follow a web link. But you can have all manner of other applications, including email, vCard, and location options. I'll choose location, and I've already got the coordinates for the location I want to use. So I'll copy and paste them from my notes here. Then I'll click OK to confirm these new parameters. To be more creative with this QR code, I could try changing its color by sampling from one of the colors in this composition. I'll hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, and click drag over this ring of light here. Then release the mouse button to assign the new color. I could also try changing the blend mode to something like Overlay, so it brings through some of the texture from the image behind it. And although Photo doesn't have access to the Stroke panel like Designer and Publisher, you can still add a stroke by switching to the Pen tool with P. Then on the Context toolbar, I can add a simple two-point stroke around the edges of the code. When experimenting like this, do be mindful to check that the QR code is still readable. You can very quickly bring up the camera app on your phone to verify it still works. To reposition or scale the QR code, I can switch to the Move tool with V and manipulate it like any other layer. And then if I wanted to go back in and edit the QR code data, the data field still shows up on the context toolbar. So I can click this to bring the dialog up. QR codes are also readable when perspective transformed. I'll show you this on another example. Here, I'll select the QR code tool and drag out a code over the television. Then I'll edit the data parameters. I'll go for a basic URL for now and click OK. What I'll then do is go to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Distort, Perspective. And this will add a non destructive four point perspective transform to the QR code. I'll quickly modify the nodes so this QR code matches the perspective of the television screen. Then close the dialog. This QR code will then still work when scanned. I can select the parent QR code layer and switch to the Move tool. And this will give me the ability to scale or move the layer whilst maintaining the perspective transform. And then if I need to alter the perspective transform, I can click on the Live Filter thumbnail here and adjust accordingly. And there we go, a quick look at the QR code tool. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.